oh my gosh, steaks, like human steaks. You get it? Because literally all they keep making is bad jokes about eating humans. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 22 of Supernatural Season 7. They're actually really putting in the stakes of this. I was actually looking at my notes last night and I was just trying to remember which episodes I actually enjoyed and I could not list them. I couldn't list five without having to look back at some of my reviews. But, at least to say, this episode does set up the stakes that, God forbid, I wish could have happened a little while ago, but what the Leviathans are essentially doing is infecting the corn syrup with the turducken stuff as well as moving into agriculture. I don't know how the fuck you could do that. Maybe like the sugar and the pesticide that you could put on it. Either way, it's pretty much a global control turning the entire world into a conveyor belt for the Leviathans. They are really trying to set up stakes. They're trying to create a world ending event because that's what Supernatural did two years ago and this is basically the D plus version of it. What the brothers are after in this episode is another element for the weapon that can kill Dick. They talk to Crowley, who is like, well, I'll help you with my blood, but not until you get the other ones first, because I don't want you holding onto my blood. Crowley obviously doesn't know, though, that Castiel is still alive, and he was able to help them give his blood in the last episode. You go get the Alpha Vamp, because the Alpha Vamp is still out there. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we finally get an answer to something that I was kind of curious about for the longest time. If the Alpha dies, does that mean that the rest of the species dies? Apparently not. So what happened back in Season 6? Cass was able to kill all the Alphas, they confirmed that, except for the Alpha Vamp. And the Alpha Vamp here is in cahoots with Dick. Uh, unbeknownst to him though, Dick is going to fuck him. Now, the one thing that I actually did like about this episode is that actually, is, if I'm correct, it was shot at Highcraft Manor. This is a really nice location for weddings, and I actually get to shoot there next year, and I'm very excited for that, but that's completely off the point. It sets up, like, the mystery with Bobby and his falling into madness, ghost madness, I guess is you would call it. What he's going through, he possesses a maid to get out of the room and he's going after Dick just by himself. And then all the while the brothers just literally stab a guy to get the blood. And I think the probably the funniest joke in this whole episode is the cop who is whoop 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 to why can't we be friends? So whoop 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 eep eep get and then Edgar comes and he finds out about what's going on with the Alpha Vamps. He tries to get to the Alpha Vamp before the brothers do. There's a little bit of a fight. The brothers are able to break out of the room and they're able to save Alpha Vamp, take his blood, and now they're like, all we need is Crowley. What's the worst that could happen? And Dick is able to pull Crowley into a trap. And that is where they hold off on the finale for the season. Let me just say I actually watched the road so far <laughs> and i've got a, a few criticisms even about the recap for this season overall though this is a decent episode it's okay uh, there's some jokes here and there there are some cool elements there's a lot of stuff that they just establish and then they just drop again so many bits in this season are very much akin to what andrew dab would do in later seasons just like angela brought up in the comments that castiel's wife is never going to come back. She's gone. And then there's the Alpha Vamp kids. What's going to happen with them? Absolutely nothing as far as I know. It was really strange to add in all these elements, to add all these aspects. And just, uh, I, I'm starting to do my season review here and I shouldn't do that. I should actually just review the episode. I like how they set up stakes, even though they don't really matter that much. I like how they further emphasized Dick's plan to take over the world and eat everyone and then also the drama with Bobby and his fall into ghost madness and there was a cool little one-off with the alpha vamp. Overall this episode hits the notes it's kind of checking off the boxes but it's again is doing it just a little bit above what it should. Now I thought about being a little bit gracious but I feel like I've done that a lot for this season and to be honest this didn't build me up like I know I said it did what it needed to do but it didn't do it with any emphasis it just did it because hey we've got the season finale next. It really just hammers home why season seven is not as well liked. I honestly I can't understand how this is anyone's favorite season. I apologize for those who I might offend with saying that but my God, have I been bored watching this season. My final rating for this episode is a 3 out of 7. I know that's a maybe a little bit harsh, but like I said, I just did not care throughout this whole episode. Mind you, that reference I made on the community post about Sam's long hair, 
and holding all the uh, the carrots and whatnot came up. So I guess there's that. Anyways, that was my thoughts about this episode. Let's see what you guys had to say. So there wasn't many, but I will actually point out one here from Rob Hanna. Did anyone notice the recasting of Kevin's mom? She is played by Lauren Tom in season eight, but played by a totally different actress in this season. I kind of wonder why that happened. Not that Lauren Tom was a bad replacement. Love Mrs. Tran, but uh, pretty darn noticeable. Um, this was something that would happen quite often in other shows, um, but I, I actually, I didn't even notice. I'll be straight up honest, I don't remember, but it can happen with any kind of shows. But, uh, uh, what's it, Joe does point out, it's definitely glaring, but the show has been known to recast. Other examples are Amelia and Clara Novak, and most notably, Young Sam and Dean. Well, that one makes sense because, well, they got older, right? They, they couldn't play those characters anymore. Even though the original usage, the original young kids were fantastic choices. And then finally for Joe, it's crazy to think there will be blood as the pen uh, penultimate uh, episode of the season. From season 7 to 13, there are 23 episodes each. And you can really feel the length in this of the season 7 being all about Dick. I love this episode because it shows how the Leviathans are creating a formula that not only takes advantage of humanity, but as a means to starve out the other monsters. Sure, they can eat other livestock, but that means the Leviathans will be able to hunt them down easily by tracking them. It's always good to see the Alpha Vampire, and it's interesting how Eve and her offspring are barely related to the Leviathans. One easily overlooked aspect in this season is how the Leviathans are about being family constantly trying to one-up each other and the other monsters aren't family to them because they aren't the same species. However, when the Winchesters understand their family doesn't end with blood is essentially when their why their bond is and blood is stronger than the Leviathans. Even though the season 7 finale is my least favorite season finale in the entire show, I'm excited to explain why I love it. Oh, it's interesting because, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think it was very good either. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you for that. Final episode of Season 7, Fang Fuck. We are going into episode 23, Survival of the Fittest. So make sure to give me you guys the thoughts about that episode in the comments below, and I'll read those off in the season finale review. We think, fuck, this is almost over. Hope you guys are having a good day. If you like this video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time, and I hope to be doing something a little bit different with a finale review. You know, we'll see. Anyways, guys, see you guys next time.